Good, 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 good morning, morning Wolfpack. Wolfpack. <laughs> Welcome to the last show of the term for Renee and I. I'm Ben Marjat. And I'm Renee Gonzalez, and today is Tuesday, October 11th, Ben's birthday. <laughs> Seniors, if you have not taken your senior portrait, the deadline is fast approaching. To assure your senior portrait is in the yearbook, please contact Prestige Portraits by October 15th. Their phone number is 393-9950, and the business hours are Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. There will be a link crew meeting after school Thursday from 12.30 to 1.30 in the leadership room. So what are you going to do for your birthday, Ben? Well, I've been looking pretty white lately, and I was <laughs> thinking I might hit up the tanning salon. Did you hear about the new law about tanning? <laughs> I didn't, actually. Let's send it to Ari and Ashley in this week's news to get the details. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Ariana Reland. And I'm Ashley Montgomery, and here's your local news. For us young California teens who love to be tan, those days are over. On Sunday, Governor Jerry Brown signed the SB 746 into law, making it illegal for teens to tan in tanning beds if they're under the age of 18. California is the first state to set this higher age limit. Texas, which is barely following California, has an age limit set at 16. As of right now, though, children under 14 years of age aren't allowed to use tanning beds at all. But children 15 through 17 years of age can with parent permission. Research has shown that people who use tanning beds have a 75% higher risk of melanoma, and out of those 70,000 people who it affects each year, 9,000 die from it. There are, however, 18 states who do not have restrictions on teen tanning, such as Alabama, Alaska, Colorado, Iowa, and Hawaii. Luckily, for those of you who love to tan, this law won't take effect until January 1, 2012. Well, in other news, a car accident happened around the corner from our school yesterday. Students, when it's raining, you are supposed to drive one-third slower than the actual speed limit. If you drive fast in the rain, it can cause your car to hydroplane. Hydroplaning is when your car is skimming along the surface on water. The only thing to stop your car when hydroplaning is another object. So please drive slower in the rain to avoid car accidents. And always remember to stay safe, Wolfpack. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Ariana Reland. And I'm Ashley Montgomery. And that was your Tuesday News. This fall, Wolfpack Theater is producing Shakespeare's Comedy of Errors. Tickets are available in the student store, the web store, or from any Comedy of Errors cast member. Tickets are $8 for general admission, $6 for senior citizens, children under 10, and ASB card holders. There will be a special dinner theater on Friday, October 21st, beginning at 5.30 in COHS's Parkside Cafe. Enjoy dinner and a show for only $25 a person and $15 for children 10 and under. Are you looking for an opportunity to help improve your school environment? We're looking for 11th and 12th grade students who are interested in helping their peers solve everyday disagreements using a mediation process. Applications for 2011-2012 conflict mediators are now available in the student services. Applications are due October 19, 2011. Wait, what's that? Is that a ghost? I think so. The studio is haunted. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm Alexis Montgomery to see if anyone's had ghost encounters at Casinus Oaks High School. So do you guys believe in ghosts? Yeah. Yeah. Have you, I've had doors <laughs> closed and my bed shook in the middle of the night. Uh, I've had some things happen where things just, there's no way to explain it. Things fall down and I've had a picture fall off that has never fallen off. The PAC is haunted. Oh yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, sh it just is, like things will happen and it's weird. Like you can hear like tapping in the hallways. The lights turn on and off? It's cray cray. It's cray cray. I have. We were playing a game, me, my mom, my brother, my sister, and we went upstairs to go put the game back, and then we heard this like rattling on the on our roof or whatever, and my brother was like, oh, those are just ghosts, and I was like, what? 
and he's like, you got to tell him to shut up. So he's like, shut up. And then it'll st it stopped. And then like when we were going back on set, it goes boom, 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 boom. It was so crazy. I don't know. Sometimes you hear a creepy noise, and it's just all bad. It's like, oh my god, there's a ghost. And it's like, oh, just kidding. That was my cat. Like, it was running up and down the stairs. And like, I didn't, I thought it was my cat at first, but it turns out that she was outside. So I came out of my room and I went downstairs and I asked if there's like anybody there and I heard kids laughing. That's creepy, but on a higher note, seniors, there's still <laughs> spots left for the October 15th trip to Discovery Kingdom for Fright Fest. The trip is now $65, so pick up your field trip form and return it with the money to the student store as soon as possible. The PSAT will take place tomorrow, Wednesday, October 12th. Be at the PAC at 745 and remember to bring your ID card, a number two pencil, and a calculator. <laughs> All students not taking the PSAT, tomorrow is a reverse minimum day and school will start at 11 o'clock. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Until next term, I'm Ben Marjad. And I'm Renee Gonzalez. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Wolf, wolf Pack, pack TV, TV, over and out. out.